welcome guys welcome to the all new video of you tigo crossover 2021 we'll try and pitch it against the video view t rock and video view t cross we'll look at dimensions we'll look at the engine and possibly features and space within these similar looking vehicles right now kindly allow me to ask this very pertinent question so we can proceed did you think there was still room for one more crossover in volkswagen small suv lineup i bet you would say no to your blind side by their race okay actually engineers from wolfsburg that is video views headquarters have apparently launched the 2022 video view tiger to fill the gap we didn't know existed settled this little crossover has been around for a very long time you probably didn't know since video view actually explained it will bring the 2021 brazilian navels to europe under a different name and build it in spain so that is what they explained they would do and so i'm sure if you look at the two cars as i'm showing you the tego and the navels you see that they are the same vehicles yes you are right visually no no two ways about it However, there are some technical differences here and there that I'm going to highlight as we go across. And I'm going to pitch this also against the video view T-Rock, which has been around since 2020 and the T-Cross from 2019. Right. This upcoming video view Tigo measures 4.26 meters. So this will translate to 167.7 inches long. Same as in the width. 1.75 meters which translates to 69 inches wide and 1.4 meters which translates to 58.6 inches high right if you put these numbers together all around it it is slightly longer narrower and longer than the 2020 video view t-rock and also longer than the 2019 t-cross if we are talking about the standard model or the long wheel base the wheelbase for the Tego measures 256.6 centimeters, translating into 101 inches, making it slightly longer than the regular T cross but shorter than the long wheelbase spec T cross. So that is what makes the dimensions. Now, um, so just take a look at the T cross and the T rock, they are about the same size, but these are the slight differences that exist among these three cars now video view also sells 2020 video view t rocks with different wheelbase length and all are longer than the video view tiger this is just a side note for you to uh, hook on to experts from wolfsburg are also selling the 2020 video view t rock convertible in europe to replace the abandoned range rover evoke convertible something i think you should take note of so um if you are interested in a convertible small um, crossover that's one of the cars that you can look at now basically the video view tigo is a more stylish alternative to the 2019 t-cross by adapting what video view calls the coupe like roof line okay so that makes it a little bit different but there is not much to say about the design as most of it has been carried over from the nevers that's a Brazilian spec of the Tego. So just take a good look again at the Nevos. Yes, this is how it looks like. And it's basically the same vehicle, right? I have just a few um, differences. So featured in many adjacent images is the flagship R-Line variant. If you are on the R-Line variant, you get a complete um, quad exhaust tip, which we can, you know, sincerely do without. But at least aesthetically, it sets it apart from the brother, the younger brother or the new brother. Right. We can also say the same about the interior, which is also borrowed from the Brazilian brother. However, if you are a discerning viewer, you will notice that the European spec video view Tego has better climate control settings, which is um, um, directly borrowed from the facelifted video view Tigon and um, the video view Atheon right now the overall interior will look familiar if you've ever used the video view t cross or video view polo it looks so same so very similar both also get the climate control model with a routine mid-cycle facelift that was launched earlier this year right
now let's talk about drivetrain and unfortunately the Tego or the Taigo is going to be sold exclusively with a front hole drive layout the VW Taigo will be petrol only as we all know VW is gradually shying away from its famous TDI engines back in the days right so you are confined to a petrol engine and so that will lead us to what kind of engines or um, powerhouse would have under the hood and i'm going to throw more light on that just in a jeff just give me a few seconds and i'll, I'll touch it okay so yeah so when it comes to the powerhouse we've got two different powerhouses and the first one is the usual 1.0 liter three cylinder engine or the larger and more powerful 1.5 liter four cylinder unit now when it comes to the three cylinder you get two different outputs and the three cylinder engine will produce a 95 horsepower which translates to 70 kilowatts and that same engine is also tuned to give you 110 horsepower and 81 kilowatts um, in this case then when you look at the more powerful four cylinder that will produce 150 horsepower which translates to 110 kilowatts so if you need more power please make sure that you are going after the 1.5 liter four cylinder unit which is better but this is coupled with um, different um, transmissions so then depending on the engine choice the vw tego comes with a five or six speed manual transmission along with the VW's DSG at a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Right, so just take note so you can, you know, get the best option for your driving and um, skill and um, needs. Okay, now one of the things that you see on the um, Tego is the matrix LED headlights to partially automatic driving level two and then the vw tego is also equipped for the b segment crossover interestingly let me just jump into the interior and like i said it remains the same as the nevos from brazil but you get to enjoy a 9.2 inch touchscreen wireless charging and you know something so lovely for me is the 18 inch wheels that come standard with it which i'm so much in love with and various driver assistant features are also equipped although the roof line is a bit swoopy you don't compromise on the standard special accommodation for this car so the cargo area can still accommodate a good 438 liters of luggage which is comparable to the boxy vw t cross that we have come to um, to know so all too soon we'll be bringing this to a conclusion but let me just specify um areas where the tego will be available and video view plans to sell this five seat video view tego small crossover in 28 european union countries plus Turkey, and interestingly some of the african countries i believe ghana will be one of them right so these are the things that we have now and we decided to bring to you all too soon this is where we bring an end to it you can however check the link on my left that will lead you to the video view golf gti and on my right will lead you to the review and the release of the video view polo if you are in the market for a video view hot hatch thank you so much for coming around we enjoy you we want to say a big thank you to you have a lovely day until we meet again same time bye bye